everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i thought that i'd do something a little bit different so i'm going to sleep over at my parents house and then i'm going to a friend's house so i'll be out of the house for three days two nights and i just need to pack a little bit of a makeup bag and i thought that i'd take you guys with you through that process um of what i choose to pack i haven't packed in a hot minute i haven't gone anywhere since february so it's been a while um, so yeah, I thought I would go ahead and do that with you. We're going to do tabletop view and show you like the actual bag and all of the items that I'm putting in there and like why, and, um, I actually have some newer things that I've purchased and I think I'm going to be bringing some of those. So I'll be able to talk about my thoughts, feelings, and opinions about those as well. So if that sounds good to you, hope you stick around. My name is Jay on this channel. I tend to create two different types of content really mainly, um, so I tend to do a lot of content focused on planner, stationary organization, and then I also am really interested in beauty, and I've decided to just do it all on one channel, because I don't want to have two channels. There's no need for it, and this is just like my creative space. So if you'd like to subscribe, I would love to have you here. It would mean the world to me, and let's just go hop right into it. Okay, so we're now in tabletop view. I think I've picked out this um, makeup bag. I think it's going to fit enough and then I've got like a ziploc bag for me to put my brushes into and if they fit in here it'll go in here if not I'll just leave it off to the side I do have like a brush roll but that seems like a lot <laughs> I don't know so I think I'm just gonna go with the ziploc bag okay first things first I'm gonna need a primer for primer I'm gonna go ahead and pack the Danessa Myricks yummy skin blurring balm powder this has been a game changer for me and my oily skin I've been using it pretty much every day since I got it and I've noticed a dramatic reduction in oil on my skin like seeping through my foundation and an increase in wear time so I'm gonna pack that guy and then for okay and then for base products I have my little drawer here um I was thinking I would pack this this is new so this is the new Chanel Le Beige water fresh complexion touch and this is what i have been wearing it does have a little bit more coverage to it though and i think i should be good with just the original water fresh tint so i think i'm gonna mm, this is smaller though and i could just shear it out i think i'm gonna pack the complexion touch actually i've been really enjoying this i used this slur my words together i use the shade b40 and i really i've been really liking it so i'm gonna pack that and then for concealer I think I'm going to bring these two so this is my Kosas Revealer concealer I use this underneath my eyes and then I also have my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer which I'm going to pack if I need to bump up coverage anywhere um and I think that's it for this drawer I am going to need a powder so I am going to go ahead and pack my Givenchy Prism Libre in the shade 12 three wall rosé I'm gonna bring that and then let's see what do I need out of here so I'm going to need my eye primer which is the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base I'm going to bring my fat thrive cosmetics liquid lash extensions in the shade crystal which is just a brown tubing mascara and then I think I'm going to bring just some clear brow gel. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter, which this is all I've been using on my brows. I actually dyed my eyebrows, so they've been a little bit darker and I haven't had to fill them in as much, but I'm gonna bring the clear brow gel and then I'll just bring a brow pencil in case, in case. Uh, so we'll pack both of those. And I think that that is it from this drawer. So now let's look at complexion stuff. Let's see. So I'm gonna need a bronzer and a blush. For bronzer, I'm thinking, I think I may bring this for bronzer. So this is the Chanel A Beige Oversized Healthy Glow Sun Kissed Powder in the shade Sun Kissed Medium. I think I'm gonna bring that. That's a nice, light, really natural looking bronzer. 
and then I'm thinking if I want to bring a cream. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one. This is the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. And I've been really enjoying that. And I actually wore these two today. And they've made a really good combo. So I think I'm going to bring these, even though they're larger. But I'm not flying, so I'm not like super constraint. I don't have like a super large space constraint or super stringent space constraint. Um, for blush, for blush, I might just bring maybe the Patrick Ta because I've got a cream and a powder in one. Um, trying to sort through here. Yeah, I do think I'm going to bring this one. This one just gives me options. Um, I'm not going to worry about a highlighter. I don't wear a highlighter on most days. And I think we're good. I think we're good here. You know what, instead of the Gucci powder, I might just bring my Pat McGrath one. No, 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 I'm not. Those things are so fragile. What a foolish thought to even cross my mind. Nope, I'm good. I'm gonna bring, <laughs> gonna bring the Givenchy one. I don't even know why I thought of that, even for a split second. Um, okay, so yeah, I think I'm good in here. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I think I'm just gonna take my Tom Ford uh, cream and powder eye color in the shade Naked Bronze. I think I'm going to take that and I was going to say this, but I mean, this will cover the gamut of what that, like, they're, they're duping each other and I don't need them both. And this is smaller. So yeah, I think it's going to be this is what I'm going to take with me. I might bring a chocolate pencil then. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Liner in the shade Cocoa. I'm going to sharpen it though before I bring it. So I'm going to leave that off to the side. I'm not going to put it in the bag yet. And then lips. So for lips, I think I'm just going to bring these. Um, these are the Chanel Rouge Coco Flashes. I've got the shade 54 Boy and 56 Moment. I'm going to bring those with um, either my NYX lip liner or my Victoria Beckham one. Um, I think I'm going to bring the Victoria Beckham one. So that's what I'm going to bring for lips. And then I always have like a gloss in my purse and um, like I have one of the Dior matte lip balms in my purse. So I have other options, but this is what I'm going to put in the makeup bag. And I think that's it. This I need to sharpen. Um, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure. I might bring a spray if I have room. Actually, I have a small bottle of this. I'm going to go ahead and bring the travel size of the Benefit Professional Super Setter as a spray. And um, I feel like I'm missing something, but I think we're good. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick out brushes now. Okay, so I've got the brush holder off to the side. I'm definitely going to bring this. This is my Quo HD foundation brush. I use this for both foundation and concealer. I'm going to bring this, which is the Zoeva Defined Buffer, which I use for cream bronzer. Um, I'm going to bring this, no. I'm gonna bring this. This is the Smashbox Sheer Buildable Cheek Brush, I think, for my blush. And then if I wanna use the cream, I'll just use my fingers. I need a bronzer brush. I'm not sure if I want to use bring this one or this one no sorry that one or this one I think I'm gonna bring this one this is the Morphe Ariel A21 brush and then I am gonna bring 
this one if I need to apply some powder in some targeted areas. And I'm also going to bring my puff. And then for eyes, I'm going to bring this one. This is another Morphe Ariel Ace 18 brush to smudge out the eyeliner if I need to. And then I'm going to bring, um, I think this one. This is like one I got from Walmart years ago. It's a Still Spa Essentials eyeshadow blender. I really like this specifically with cream eyeshadows, especially that Tom Ford one. And I'll apply the actual product with my fingers and then use that to blend it out. So I think this is it. Yeah, so that's it for brushes, I think. I'm just double tool. I'm just double checking and making sure everything I could want I will have. Yeah, I think we're good. So those are all the brushes. So I've just kind of tossed everything in here. I'm gonna try and create some type of organization. If we can also fit the brushes in here. And I need to sharpen that eyeliner. So we have fit everything in here, brushes, everything I need to do my makeup. I'm pretty sure that that is it. Um, I am going to be doing my makeup tomorrow morning using this makeup bag as like a test run. So if there is something that I did forget or um, something that I decide, hey, maybe I want to change my mind, I have that time tomorrow morning when I'm getting ready to make those like final changes. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me as I put together my makeup bag. Are there specific items in your makeup collection that you are sure to take with you every single time that you travel? Um, and if so, what are they? Let me know down below. Anyway, before you head out, I would love you to take a second to like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated and I'll catch you guys next time.